Help me ducks, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. Wow, it's been a long day today, but I've just made a cup of coffee. Um, I'm home, my dinner's in the oven, and I thought I would spend just a few minutes, it doesn't need to be a long video because I've already done a walkthrough of this deck recently. Um, but as you would have seen from the title, this is the Lion's Gateway um, Tarot. Now, I showed this probably two weeks ago, I think. It's by the incredible artist, Jessica Lee Henry. And Jessica contacted me and asked if she could send me a copy of her third edition, um, which has been recently released. So I did a walkthrough. This is the box, which is beautiful. Um, and then she contacted me again after the video went out and it was so incredible because I had an instant connection with this deck. I absolutely love it. It's just a perfect deck in in every way for me. I just, as I said, had an instant connection to it. Um, and so in the message, she said that she'd seen the walkthrough. She really uh, loved the walkthrough and that I'd spotted things that other people hadn't. And she was just really uh, touched by it. And then she said she had a couple of um, first editions left and she wanted to send me one, which um, was just just incredible, absolutely incredible, because I have I had seen a walkthrough of this deck uh, about three years ago, I think, when it was released. Um, and for whatever reason, at the time, I didn't get it. Um, but when I was when I was sent this, it was like, wow, why why have I not had this deck before? Um, so I thought what we could do is just have a look. And somebody messaged yesterday um, about this deck on the video, and I said that the first edition was coming, and they said really looking forward to seeing the side by side. It was either on my a comment in my video or in a live chat. Um, and so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to obviously we'll have a look at the differences, but also there'll be a flip through side by side so that if you have this edition, you can see, you know, where the, the differences are. If you're thinking of getting the third edition, etc. I think this one is quite hard to get now. Um, no doubt it will come up on uh, auction sites and things like that. So the backs um, are pretty much the same. They've got the same words on here. Um, it's just set out a little bit differently, different coloured font and different font uh, style. They're both two-part boxes, but as you can see, we have this intricate detail here. Where here we have, um, you know, the, the, the sun, the star, um, the lion. And it's just, it's beautiful. I thought I'd actually broke the seal on that. There we are, we, I have. So I'm so excited. I do know that these cards are, why can't I get in this? I do, there we go. I do know that these cards are larger. I don't think they're huge, but they are larger than uh, the third edition, which I quite like, you know, giant hands and all that. Um, oh, it's beautiful. I love the, the artwork. I love this kind of crisscross effect. It's beautiful. So let's um, let's dive in. Just trying to get it out. It is a little bit stiff to get out, but that over time eases off. So we have a little book here. So in this one, if you and I will link the walkthrough uh, here. This one we have the gold sticker. It's a little white book. It has the same design on. Um, this one obviously is a little bit uh, larger, but it looks like you get the same kind of amount of information as you do here um wow oh these are gorgeous okay let's move the boxes and things to one side and then we can, oops boxes and books let's move i'll have another sup of coffee before we dive in so you'll see instantly the backs are different it has the same, actually, the same design 
Um, it's just a little bit harder to see against the yellow background in this light. <clears throat> but let's see if I can show that better uh, on camera. So do you see, yes, you can see here that the, the, the design is the same, the pattern. as what's on the pink backs. So we have this lovely bright yellow and then we have the, the pink back here. Cardstock feels a little bit thinner, maybe. That might be because the cards are smaller. The larger the card, yeah, they're actually, they're actually the same, the same thickness. Yeah, just feels a little bit. Now, where's the fall? Ah, yes, yeah, so that is a noticeable difference. I remember that. The fall is numbered um, 22 in this deck. And then for, I don't know if it changed in the second, I've not seen a walkthrough or anything about the second edition. Um, but um, f certainly for this third edition, the fall is, is renumbered as zero. Oh, renumbered, it's not a number, is it zero? But you get what I mean. So that is one uh, noticeable difference. So if we go to, um, here we go, the fall you will see here number 22 the fall zero so in ter in terms of the size difference it is quite quite a size difference i mean i like this size it feels it feels nice i would imagine that some people you know with smaller hands may struggle i'm trying to think of a size to compare it with Maybe Shimmering Veil, but I think it's still a bit shorter. Yeah, no, it's not Shimmering Veil, but it's a it's a nice size. Jumbo CS might be a little bit too big for Jumbo CS. A little bit shorter than Jumbo CS. If you've got any of these decks, it might help you to, to get a bit of perspective. It has the same gold gilding. So the gold gilding hasn't changed between the first and third edition. Okay, so all that remains really, um, because I think that's the only changes, let's I spot any more when we do the walkthrough, I'll bring the camera down and you can just have a look at them side by side.
Wow. So there you have it. Um, gorgeous. I, I can't say I prefer one over the other. Um, they're both beautiful. I like this because it's tarot sized. Um, fits nice in the hand. It's nice to shuffle. Um, but I love this because you can see, I, was, I almost said more of the image, but there's not more of the image. It's exactly the same amount of the image, but because it's larger next to this, it appears in some cards like you're actually seeing more. Um, but it's nicer to see um, the details a little bit more in the larger cards. It's exactly the same lovely card stock as you get in the new third edition. Uh, that beautiful uh, matte, if you could hear the sound as, as I was turning these over for the walkthrough, I know I have my volume turned off for walkthroughs, but the sound that they're making was absolutely gorgeous. This deck, the larger deck, is a little bit lighter. Um, I noticed in the devil, at uh, the death card in the main, um, well, also the hanged man, but we'll look at the death card at the, for the moment. As you can see here, particularly on the arm, you can see a lot of the uh, brush strokes and things, whereas not so much here. So in the smaller version, it's the colors are a little bit deeper, a little bit richer uh, than in the larger uh, first edition, which I quite like seeing more of the detail. Um, I noticed it here as well in the in the hangman card, um, how it's a, it's a lot lighter in this card than it is in the new edition. Um, but again, you know, minor, minor things and there isn't one that's better than the other. Um, if anybody's got the second edition, let me know or put, post a link to it below because I'd like to see um, a second edition because I'm curious now. Um, but yeah, just a quick video because I wanted to A, say thank you to the fantastic and talented Jessica for her kindness in sending me this. She really didn't have to do it. This was sent for review, but to send me something with no uh, expectation or obligation of any kind, just as a, a kind of generous gift, I'm very humbled uh, by that. So if you do watch this, Jessica, thank you so much. I will treasure it always. Um, and B, you know, I wanted to do a side by side so that people, um, even if you've got this deck and you're thinking about updating or getting a backup or uh, just a newer version, you can you can kind of see what you get or what the differences are. This, I had to put it back in order uh, for this purpose of the walkthrough, but this now lives in my uh, Kelly bag, uh, Kelly pouch, one of my Kelly pouches with this little owl on. Um, and this is kind of like a pinky purple, but I thought it matched with uh, the backs. So, um, there you go. This will sit on my desk, on my little stand here. I've got a stand where I can fit two decks in that are easy to grab. So that's where these are going to go. In fact, I may as well, I may as well show you that they fit perfectly there. <laughs> there you go. And that's the Moon Baby Tarot, which I'm also working on uh, with at the moment. You can see the clean moon also in a Kelly pouch. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll be back on Saturday, usual time, 4 p.m. for the Cup of Catch Spring uh, cards, the, my live weekly live. So hopefully I'll be able to see you there. Until next time, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.